SREB and partner states developed Advanced Career, or AC, with the goal of creating a new type of career and technical education to prepare students for college and careers. What we wanted to do was we wanted to model the Tri-State Water Wars through a bill. To be successful in post-secondary education, students must have strong literacy skills. Students continuing with STEM education and careers also need strong technical skills. This is around a 30 mile radius. Skills that are definitely um, going to be very beneficial in college for the students that I've seen. Um, they're doing some of their presentations. One, just the research. So the, uh, the group doing the bill um, did some extensive research on, on the, the numbers and, and how um, it all actually works. But then two, just the, the 3D software. There was the one group I put on the, um, the headset for the VR. The 3D modeling software and the, the Unity being able to actually walk around and, and be in that environment is something that's very on the forefront of the industry. Professionals in every career area face increased demands for reading technical texts, technical writing, speaking, and listening. I went through undergraduate and grad school, and only really in, in undergraduate and grad school did I do presentations of this kind of technical level. So I think it's tremendous that high school level um, students are tackling these kind of issues, but also, as you were saying, getting into the research, getting into What's it like to stand up and talk to people from the industry? Because those are all critical things and you have to be able to communicate that. All right, everybody know what you got to do? AC teachers will find an outline of literacy scaffolding in Appendix A of each project. There is a clear and consistent plan for student literacy obtainment using research-based best practices. You're going to get to use some of the auditing equipment that we talked about last time and collect some data that hopefully you'll be able to use in putting together a proposal right, for saving us some energy and hopefully saving us some money. We're staying pretty consistent okay. and then we stop it and then we can find the time, 73.4, so it's relatively close to the temperature on the thermostat. AC projects include an entry event, such as an activity, field experience, interesting video, and or discussion that sparks student interest in the project. So to start a project, uh, we'll launch the project and we'll kick it off uh, with some sort of hook that will really get the students engaged. Um, and that's usually around, you know, the first step of the engineering design process is the ask inquire step. And so we will ask them a question and as part of that essential question that drives the project. We'll ask them to imagine being in the role of a real scientist, a real engineer, a, a real technician. In their collaborative team, they'll start to address and plan out how they're going to solve that problem that we pose to them. You've got to design a trial. We know we want to compare batteries to fuel cells, but we want to do the same thing in each of those tests, right, where the only difference is the power source. Students continue the project by conducting background research and reading appropriate technical texts. They identify relevant terms and plan their work as a team. The speed is 120, a little bit more than 120. What's the voltage? Uh, 6.1. During the first projects, the teacher provides many of the reading assignments. One AC tool is the no need to know chart. Students list what they already know about the subject and list what they need to know to complete the project. This is a living document. As students find out more information, they move the items from the need to know column to the know column. They may also discover they need additional information and record those items in the need to know section. AC students maintain a professional notebook for each project. Each career field has a method of documenting work, and the professional notebook helps students practice writing skills specific to the industry. AC teachers learn how to implement professional notebooks during summer training. Based on the career field, the notebooks might be paper or electronic versions. So now the load is 100. The speed is about 110. Voltage and speed are the same as time. Look at all the data. Each time a student listens to a lecture, watches a video, participates in a field experience, interviews a professional, or reads a written passage or text, the student documents processes, experiments, results, and questions. 
The technical texts students read to complete projects reflect texts industry professionals use to solve problems and are often challenging. It's important for AC teachers to allow students the opportunity to read the text, even if it's difficult. Some beginning AC students may not read or write at grade level, but with proper scaffolding and practice, students will improve literacy skills over time. We have students who are, who are really smart, who come in and they have no problems. We also have students who come into the program who have just kind of made their way through school, mediocre students, who blossom. They really figure out that they are smart and they do have a voice and they can make a contribution to solving big problems in society. The teacher version of AC projects usually include scaffolding strategies for note-taking, annotation, summarizing, paraphrasing, inferring, predicting, identifying the main idea and supporting facts, and mastering technical vocabulary. So it says if you wish to use a different power supply such as batteries, connect them to the dynameter with the cord. As students progress through the projects, they complete many workshops on skills such as text selection, reliable resources, crediting sources, using APA format, and identifying bias and propaganda within a text. At the end of each class period, the teacher provides time for students to summarize class experiences and or provides a key question for reflection and summary. AC teachers check the AC students' notebooks at least weekly to check for understanding, evidence of reading comprehension, and progress. Well, these are called our engineering notebooks, and we're basically writing down the data that we collect. So, like Adula said, we're writing down the engine power and the speed and the load and everything for each one of these trials that we pause on. This way we can graph it later on. At the end of every project, we either do a report or a presentation with our team, and it's important to have the data and what you did so we actually remember for the presentation. You gotta design a trial. When the AC teacher determines a student or student group needs additional help, the teacher enlists the help of a partner English teacher or literacy instructional coach to plan tutorial sessions. Tutorials may be during class time if the teacher can maintain the overall course pace, or after school, or during school-wide extra help sessions, or during the student's English class. Another strategy is for the AC teacher and partner English teacher to create classroom resources for students requiring extra assistance. One example is creating a how-to recording of literacy skills, such as note-taking or summarizing. Students view the recordings and practice until they learn the skill. Be sure to use your notebook. That's where all your tests that you're performing and your data is going to go. All right, I'll get out of your way. In an ideal situation, schools provide a mandatory system of extra help, such as time for tutoring, extended laboratories, or makeup work during the school day. When students record notes each time they read texts, watch a video, or listen to a speaker and summarize their work at the end of each class period, the writing process becomes much easier. AC projects include time for bridging professional notebook entries and beginning writing. Students review the content, marking significant points and supporting details. This process includes discussion with team members and sometimes planning with the teachers. The stuff over here was from last class. It's helping us going into this project, which in this project, we're doing this thing about the um, fuel cells and the battery packs, and we're writing it down. And then after we do that, we're gonna put it in graphs. And then at the end of every project, there's a presentation. When teachers and students follow the model of preparing for the task, reading process and transition to writing, students produce better final written texts and presentations to authentic audiences. AC projects require individual students to use technical writing skills to produce products like what industry professionals might write as part of their work. Some example writing assignments include brochures, engineering reports, proposals, training manuals, web page copy, scientific page journals, and reports. AC projects include a writing process in which students use technical writing styles to explain or to argue for a solution. Students use the AC writing rubric to guide their work. 
Each student writes an individual text. Students organize their content and construct an initial draft. Students revise their draft and participate in peer review. AC students use the peer feedback to refine their texts, including line of thought, language usage, and tone as appropriate to the audience and purpose. Finally, they proofread for technical errors before completing the final product. The AC teacher scores the written text, requiring students to submit a final draft with multiple drafts attached. To further prepare students for college and careers, student teams write a presentation and develop visual aids to deliver to an external, authentic audience. Students entertain feedback from subject matter experts from business, industry, and post-secondary institutions. Do you guys feel confident that after today now you can take your list that has all of your findings, that has the data, right, and you could put that together in a way that you could present it to people that aren't scientists and aren't engineers and that you could communicate to them your recommendations yeah. sure. for these particular areas. Hopefully the end result of this is that you guys have learned about it. You now know what energy auditors do. You know some of the tools involved in the process. I'm Veronica. I'm Joy. I'm Tiba. And we're um, examining the effects of flooding and pollution on Lake Winnipeg. The writing process and formal presentations improve communication skills. I'm just curious, is there any other example in the world where a river is being filtered like y'all are proposing? The authentic audience feedback motivates students to work harder and engage in continual improvement. What could we have done better? For our, our final presentation is um, just plan it out really well, you know, yeah. reread our stuff. To improve student literacy, AC teachers must create a culture of elevated expectations and use the authentic literacy assignments embedded in AC projects. Scaffolding for students' skill development, daily classroom practices, and working with colleagues will improve student chances for success. Okay. SREB's advanced career areas include aerospace engineering, automated materials joining technology, clean energy technology, energy and power, global logistics and supply chain management, health informatics, informatics, integrated production technologies, innovations in science and technology, oil and gas. <laughs>